Hi, my name is Justin Klein. I'm with GenReviews.com, and today we're reviewing Hendrix Gin. Now, I received an email from one of our patrons on the website, and they really enjoyed the uh, Q Quintessential Gin, which is actually uh, featured right here. And what's special about this gin right here is it's actually got uh, lotus petals, and it's a very feminine uh, type of gin that is not so much the juniper, but more of just the botanical persuasion that a lot of uh, our female audiences really like. So, this is kind of a little bit hard to find, and they were asking me, do you know of any gin that might be comparable? Well, since this has kind of a floral base, a little brainstorming, I thought, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, uh, Hendrix gin, uh, bottled and distilled in Scotland, uses rose petals, as well as cucumber, to give a very unique take on their gym. Just a little bit about them, their slogan is, it's not for everyone. And I think that one of the things that they're trying to do is help people that are scared of juniper and a little gin scared uh, try something new. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, what's also unique about this too, the bottle stands alone. Uh, it's completely black and you've got a nice white label that has some nice contrast so seeing this bottle on the shelf would definitely stand out as opposed to the other gins. Now what they did is they did something a little bit differently with the marketing too. They targeted bartenders and they wanted bartenders to try to make different types of drinks. One of the drinks that you may see that's quite popular is taking a Hendrix gin, uh, filling a glass with ice, then mixing it with uh, white cranberry and cucumber infused simple syrup. So you have a lot of different uh, complexities going on, but one of the nicknames of it is just water because it goes down so smooth. Let's go ahead and take a little sniffer of this and uh, we'll see where we're at. You know, I, I definitely smell the juniper, but then it's cut short by uh, rose petals as well as uh, cucumber. And it just, uh, it's a fine ocean breeze coming in. It's a sense of uh, just effervescence, respect, and just relaxation. The first time I had um, Hendrix Gin was at a family reunion, sitting on a beach, and uh, bought a bottle of this just on a whim when it first came out, and I uh, really had quite a good experience with it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a taste and see where we're at. It's real light coming in. The cucumber definitely cools it off. Um, you may classify this as a London Dry, although uh, I think that it's a kind of a league of its own. So I think as far as sipping, it's pretty good, but I think where it really shines is in a cocktail, especially when you're going to be amplifying that cucumber. So think of different types of uh, concoctions that you could make with the cucumber uh, infused gin and get uh, very creative. It's definitely not something that uh, just wants to sit alone. I think it wants to come out and play like on the beach. So. All in all, I think from a bartender's perspective, this is definitely a gin that you'll see at places like Morton Steakhouse has their own uh, Mort, uh, Morton Teeny. Uh, there's a couple places in the Chicago area that really uh, use this to amplify up and get people to drink gin that normally be scared of it and say Martini. Uh, so all in all, uh, really good product. It just depends on uh, how it's wielded. And above all, uh, I would just recommend anyone that's looking for a uh, change of pace, try something new, try Hendrix Gin. I'm Justin Klein with GinReviews.com, reminding you to drink responsibly.